Welcome to part three, I think this is, I went out for a couple hours, of my start to finish meshing tutorial. So we're just going to import wavefront object, locate where you saved it, and this is pretty high poly, I checked before I started this, but when, this will turn up black, so go to materials and delete all the materials, and then delete the body. Go to Tools, Direct X Mesh Tools, and then the, my um, poly count is 8,561. I'm going to lower that to around 5,000. Okay, and then I'm going to File, Import away for an object. The body that we exported, just remember to delete the materials. And make sure when doing this, there is, if you see any live, like parts that are shinier than others, then you should re-import the body. Like, ex like delete it and then re-import it. Um, then we're going to control A to select all, regroup, and then type in group underscore base, exactly like that, and then file, export, go all the way down, and then the Serums Resource Workshop object. And you, that's a plugin that you have to get, uh, that's also going to be on my meshing master list. So I'm going to name this BF, because this is a workshop object. Actually, instead of BF, I'm going to rename it to, what is it? <laughs> Name it HLOD. Um, that stands for high level of detail. So then we're going to control Z and go back, delete the body again, then go to tools, direct X mesh tools, and lower the poly a little more. Then file, import the body again, delete all the materials, and then regroup group base. And then you're going to export it as a Sims Resource Workshop object and name it MLOD. And you're going to do the same thing again, and then you're going to name it LLOD. So I'm going to skip that part. And just so you didn't forget, file import. I mean, oops, export some resource workshop object, LLOD. Okay, and we do that because now we're going to go into um, Mesh Toolkit. While you wait, you can load up the Sims resource workshop. Usually at this point, you would go in the Sims resource workshop app. You know what? When it loads, I'll show you. <laughs> So usually at this point you'd go to create new project, clothing, wait for that to load. Then you'd click human, young adult, or you know, whatever age and whatever gender, and then pick whatever. And then you'd pick the thing that, the piece of clothing that looks closest to your piece of clothing. Um, let's say my piece of clothing was young adult female sleepwear, I click on sleepwear. It load all, anything that has like no picture, that means it comes with an expansion pack that you didn't yet input inside of the um, Wisdom's Resource Workshop. I didn't input, I have every expansion and stuff pack, but I didn't input it because um, it slows down the loading time. So let's say I had made a shirt and it looks closest to this one, so you'd name it and stuff, I just skipped that for time. Then you'd go to mesh and then click high level of detail and click export and you'd name it. But because I already have a um, reference that has all the morphs including the pregnancy morph, which I'm not going to show you how to get the pregnancy morph because there is a tutorial already on YouTube how to do that, but mine includes it. So you're going to go to auto tools for WSO and then So you're going to select in, I usually do, in order from high level of detail to low level of detail. Um, 
in this and then you're going to put the reference which is the one that you're going to be exporting from this the sims resource workshop object um not object just the sims resource workshop um and then you're going to click do assignments and save and do 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 the interpolation and then i'm going to name this finished you know what i'm not even you know what okay sorry i'm just gonna actually overwrite the high level detail file and then do the for all of these i'm gonna skip over this part for time purposes okay and then when you're done with all three of them go to auto create morphs and do the exact same thing Okay, and once you're done with that, you're going to go to this box with the green arrow and import the three that workshop objects. And you're going to do that on all three. It looks weird because the texture is not the UV map that I have. So. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you can just go back to high level of detail. And I'm actually going to end this video here. Um, and then the next part is going to be showing you how to add the textures and all that fun stuff. So, um, I'll see you in the last part.